In front of me is the Lizzie Borden house. Yep, this house contained the most famous unsolved murder in American history. Did that just move? Can you say the name of the killer? I think something touched my arm. This is Fall River, Massachusetts, home to one of the biggest unsolved murders in America. But with my friend Vincent Euler, we're going to break the mystery of who the murderer was. But first, what actually happened here? Back in 1892, there was a very wealthy family named the Bordens. The father was worth about $10 million in today's money, and he had a daughter named Elizabeth Borden. The stepmother and the stepdaughter also lived in the house along with a maid. But one day, the family got into a big argument. This then led to the father leaving the house, and when he was gone, Lizzie went to the basement, grabbed a hatchet, she hit her stepmother in the head 20 times with the hatchet. About an hour and a half later, the father got home, and without even knowing that his wife died, he decided to take a nap on this couch. While he was napping, Lizzie Gordon came into this room and chopped him up 12 times in the head. But since there was only one witness, and Elizabeth pled not guilty, nobody really knows killed her parents. So today we're going to be investigating one of the biggest unsolved murder mysteries in America. Except these people right here don't believe in ghosts at all. So it's my duty to make them believe at the end of this video with a couple different methods. With check-in being at 5 p.m. we got there a little bit earlier to explore the house. Oh, it is creepy. And without even meaning to we got the room with the most activity in it, the attic. I still highly doubt ghosts are real. From what I've seen, this place is like an amusement park, if anything, not a haunted house. So we continued to explore the Lizzie Borden house, and we even found the same room that the stepmother, Abby, was murdered in. That's where the wife died. Right oh, here yeah, and the, the picture floor. of it as well. You have to get in the same pose as her. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is where she was ex-murdered in the hatchet. <laughs> Hopefully Abby didn't like that and shows him some signs of ghosts later on. I definitely just heard someone twist that door. And downstairs, there's a room with replica skulls from the crime scene. Those are, are those the real skulls? Oh, no, uh, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait no. <laughs> I'm blind. This is Lizzie Borden's father, Andrew, and he was murdered right here. Vincent, how about you lay right here? <laughs> Dude, this is like kicking back on the beach. This is not real. Now, hypothetically speaking, so pretend you're napping. So, if I'm Lizzie, <laughs> and then her, his legs <laughs> fell. So far, Vinton hasn't been super serious or open-minded to acknowledge the existence of ghosts. And while we were touring the house, we ran into Jess, which is a professional ghost hunter, and she can communicate with spirits. When I was a child, I could actively see and hear spirits. She also wanted to do a little investigation in our room, because apparently it has the most activity in the entire house besides the basement, which we will go into later. But first, will this investigation get Vinton believing? my pendulum um, to communicate with spirits um, and it's been pretty darn accurate and apparently there are kids in this room um, there were children that were related to the Bordens where the mom essentially had postpartum depression and killed them um, somewhere nearby and they used to come here to play and they're said to haunt this location so I'm trying to figure out if we have any children here and then if they would like any of these stuffed animals. Okay, do you guys want me to begin? Yes. Okay, so are there any children in this room with us right now? So it is saying yes. Would you like to add some stuffed animals to your collection? It's saying yes. Okay, so I am gonna leave you guys with two stuffed animals. So I'm gonna label this the monkey, pink bunny, white bunny, the teddy bear, and then this is a panda bear. So you guys will get to choose two, and I'm gonna go one by one to see which one you would like. Obviously we have yes going this way, no this way. Would you like this monkey? And sometimes it takes a second. So very slightly, they're kind of being shy. No, they do not want them. I was truly shocked when I saw the pendulum moving on its own. You each get your own. Okay, so we have this pink bunny. Would you like the pink bunny? I already know the answer. Yeah, you'd like the pink bunny. Okay, yeah, that's a big yes. I'm not moving this. If anything, I twitch, but that's not enough. You just see it kind of shake like this if I'm kind of twitching just a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna leave out the pink bunny and then we'll find out where you want this here in a second because I'll ask more questions. And we also have a white bunny. Would you like the white bunny? <laughs> no, they don't want the white bunny. What? <laughs> Okay, and we have just the regular teddy bear. Would you like the regular teddy bear? No, 
Okay, that's all right. Right when the proof was right under Vinton's nose, my camera started glitching. This footage is not altered at then, all. Then, would you like the panda bear? <laughs> would you Crazy. like the panda bear? Yeah. Okay. What? Yeah, the girl wanted the Pink bunny. bunny. Big yes. You were on to it. Yeah. Big yes. Yeah, oh, 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 a cat ball just went off. What? Did it really? Yeah, yeah it's going off right now. Yeah. Sorry, I just saw it in the Nope, watch. that's okay. And then we want to address the little boy oh, in the that? room. Did the door just slam? Yeah. Then that was you. No. No, it wasn't. That wasn't me. That no. wasn't me. I don't know. I don't know. Someone... Did there, is is there... someone in the hall? I'm just oh. sitting on oh. the couch. <laughs> okay. Uh, cat ball's going off again. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Jess told me off camera that a woman in black said she doesn't want us in the home anymore. Now this could have been the maid, Lizzie, or even the stepmom that was brutally murdered upstairs. She also said that the kids were having a lot of fun with us in the room, but it was making them sad that we were talking about their death so much. Did your mother hurt you? Dang. Yeah, I'm so sorry. That shouldn't happen to people your age or ever. Did it happen near a well? Yeah, mentally I was getting like a, there, I'm seeing a well. Did your mother drown you in a well? I was saying yes. Yeah, I tried. <laughs> uh, do you want to play with your toys? <laughs> <laughs> you asked the creepiest question. Do you like pizza? <laughs> <laughs> so this is a ramp pod. The closer you get to it, it'll get higher pitched until it just starts squealing. Let's get started. Is everyone nice here? So some people come in here and um, provoke, and that scares them. Yeah. Um, when people come in and they're super aggressive, they're super assertive, they just want to hide, and I want to say it reminds them of their father, and they don't like it. Do you know who lives in the basement? It. I say it because it's not human. So it's an animal, or like a dead, <laughs> like something else. It's an evil spirit. All right, this is now. Yeah, that's right. I never finished my sentence. But basically, I'm gonna set up a GoPro in the corner of the attic while the boys and I go do investigations in the basement. If any of the devices go off or if I hear something suspicious, I'll show it on screen. So nobody technically died down here. So this is like a, a demon or something negative. So we have a spirit box. This switches through channels and it will just say random words. And sometimes the spirit's words will slip through. All right, so I'm going to turn the spirit box on so we can communicate with some dead people. Is there something evil down here? Probably. I heard probably the two. Yeah. Yes or no, do you kill your children? Yes. That was, yes. that was a clear that was yes. yes. What was that? I was heard. that behind you? I I, that way. Really? Yes. Unless that was your mic. That. Do, do mics make noise? I mean, should I put my mic right there on the table? Would you like to? No, that was not me. That's not. That is not us. Was that in your way? Is that? That's not. That's not us. Ew. Can you come over here and touch the cat ball? Just, just come and bump it. Uh, I'm getting an EMF reading. Yeah, EMF. With a music box? Whoa, look, look where I'm at. Uh, just, I'm getting oh red God. spikes. That's so crazy. That's basically all the way. Are you behind me? Something was just over here. My, my feet are very cold. That REM pod just went off. Can you point to the nearest spirit in the room? It's behind you. Hey, shit. Oh. I gotta go. That, that was a little freaky. That went, that went quick too. Something yeah, I know. Is behind you. No, it doesn't feel like it. Can you point to the spirits in the room again? They're moving on their own. I'm not doing anything. No, I'm watching you. You're not doing nothing. That's some weird shit. Something, something, something's like going, whoa, are you touching me? Are you touching me? Are you touching me? No, I'm not touching you. Like, you're no, you're not. I feel something literally on me. Eliza, are you here with us? Should we go in Eliza's corner? 
So currently I'm doing the Estes method, which is basically sensory deprivation with earbuds. So I'm not gonna be able to hear any of the questions that they're gonna ask the spirits, but I will say all the answers. And I'm gonna have my eyes closed. This is what it sounds like. So I'm gonna go under, just tap me when it's done. Are you in this room? Yes. Do you like us in your presence? Are you going to hurt us? Is anyone else down here with you? Vinton. What, who do you like the least in this room? You? Why are you stuck here? It's so much fun. Can you raise the temperature? It is. Did you kill your children? Bubble? Do you want anything from us? Mm, no. Do you I do. What do you want? Money? Run. What the fuck? <laughs> Who's the closest to you? Lizzie. What's life like down here? Whoa. What are you doing? You. By the way, I mean, this isn't what it's saying, but this is a male. It's a male? Can you throw an object at me? People. If you're having fun. I just heard something moan. Building. I'm getting jittery again. You yelled. Do you commit? Oh. Did somebody hurt you? There was. Who hurt you? Everybody? Are we hurting you? Dylan? Fuss? Who do you hate the most in this room? Julian. Dude. What? Okay, that's weird. Julian's like my best friend. Where does Julian live? What state does Julian live in? Who is Julian? Winston? Massachusetts? Julian lives in Massachusetts. Can I hug you? Go away. We come in peace. Wait a minute. Enough. Do you want us to take your picture? Yes. Like a firm yes. How do we do it? Go. Where? Where should we take your photo? Someone's someone's crying. Like sobbing. I heard it. Why did you tell us to go? Depression. Elizabeth. Andrew. Andrew. What's your connection to Andrew? Famous. Do you want one of us to stay down here alone? Did Lizzie kill Andrew, or was it you? Hell no. So it was Lizzie? Hell no, it wasn't Lizzie. Did Lizzie kill Andrew, or was it you? Wait, wait, no, it could be either. Do you want the lights to be turned off? Okay. Turn them. Whoa. I think something touched my arm. The lights are off. Do you like it better? Silence. Straight. Are you telling us to be silent? Um. Should we switch? All right. How was, was that it? Good? How was it? Yeah. Like, did anything make sense? It really felt like it made no sense. Dude, it said your name. Yeah. That's me. Vincent said, "Do you want us to leave?" And you said, "Run." Pretty. Quick really? After. Yeah. I mean, we can look back, but that's no, crazy. Do you want to do it? A lot of freaky stuff. Do you want to do it? Yeah. I, I don't know the questions no. that he asked. You need to just ask everything. This is the method that proves to Vinton that ghosts are real, but will he think so? How long have you been down here? Is this Eliza that we're talking to? No. Is this an evil spirit that we're talking to? Yes. Oh, that's not good. Okay. What is your name? Elias. That's the name. Okay. Okay. Oh, wait, but we asked if it was Elias. Is that Elias? Oh, are there multiple people speaking through this box? Yes. <laughs> what? Eliza, why did you kill your children? Do you like us being in your space? Sometimes. Are we uh, bothering you right now? No. Yes, yes, I would. Who said I run. would? Why did you kill your children? Because it was fun. Did you like killing your children? 
Yes. Do you know that your children are on the third floor of this building? Can you ask them? Ask them what? Can you still see your kids? No. Do you miss your kids? Yes. Dude, this is crazy. Then why did you kill them? Why did you kill your children if you loved them? They were... They were what? Grandparents? Grandparents, that's so weird. If it's okay to ask, how did you kill your children? I did not. Eliza, if you didn't kill your children, then who Wait. did? Remember there's multiple ways. Is there someone behind you? Can you can you turn the camera? Who is? What did you see? I, I just saw a giant shadow go by you. It, it could be something outside. I'm just saying. This box is tilting. Dylan. <laughs> Eliza, am, are we still speaking to you? Okay. Is it okay? Can you leave? <laughs> no. Are you? I'm sorry. I don't know what to say to that. You just... Are you behind me, Eliza? Hello. Are, Eliza, huh? are, am I still talking to you? Yeah. Okay, Eliza, I have a question. What? That was very fast. Like, that was a very fast response. What happened with the grandparents and your children's death? Ooh. I just killed them. Eliza, did you kill your grandparents? And your children? Oh, Ridiculous. Eliza, if you're in this room, can you come over here and touch this red light right between me and Vinton? If you don't want to, you can say no. Maybe. Can you move? Red light. Red light? Oh my god. Red light. Can you come over here and touch the red light? You just have to touch it. No. Lizzie. Are you talking to Vinton through the spirit box? No. Uh, Can you name the killer that killed Abby Borden and Andrew Borden? Yes, I can. Can you say the name of the killer? Can hear you. Is your name Lizzie Borden? No. Eliza, are you in the room? that me, Vincent, and Adam are all in. Yes. REM pod, REM pod. Eliza, can you back up from the REM pod? Can you touch it again, Eliza? I don't think I can. <laughs> what? Why not? Why not? Why can't you touch the REM pod? Because I want some. You want some what? Money, money. Little. Little? Kids. He wants little kids. If you wanted little kids, why did you kill your six and four year old? I still need your Eliza. Are you behind me, making me feel a warm sensation? No. Eliza, do you know what's behind me? Sorry. Can you help? We're not bad people. We're letting your story be known. Can you go? You can come out. Eerie as hell. Is that gate? Oh my okay. god. I believe it's right here. And this is Elizabeth's, Elizabeth's grave. This is supposedly the murderer of her stepmother and her father. We're here in peace. We're here in peace. We mean that. Yeah, we mean that. Now, I want to know if this is the father, because, yeah, Very look, this is the father. Everyone. He has the biggest grave out of all of the borders. I don't really know what to do here. We were going to ghost investigate, but I just feel like that's kind of disrespectful to put on the graves and stuff. I want them to all rest in peace. It's so cold out there. Oh, my God. It is currently 1224. We survived the night. We did. Yeah. Um, it was time for the hard-hitting question. Skeptic or believer? 
Do you believe in ghosts now? Yeah, it's pretty clear they're real. Subscribe, I'm trying to beat this man to a million subscribers, but when we do hit a million subscribers, we're gonna be collabing once again to the Conjuring House. Subscribe so I can, I can beat him. Subscribe so I can beat this yeah. guy right here. That's pretty much it. That's our night at the Lizzie Borden house. Toodles.